Hey, there it is, 92 Magic. We are officially halfway to 99 Magic. Pretty, pretty happy with saying that, but anyways, this is my first time ever doing Maniacal Monkeys, and I must say, it is absolutely crazy. Uh, everything that I've ever heard about them, I just heard their, you know, insane XP an hour. Uh, they, you know, everyone was not lying. They, they are extremely good. Um, and for those of you that don't know, they do drop prayer potion one doses so consistently here that if you do chin or if you do burst here, let's just say this. I brought four full prayer potions when I first came here, and now look what I'm at. So it, it, it's pretty crazy. But anyways, the reason I went and did this is because I wanted to get 92 for Blood Barrage. Now, the reason I'm getting Blood Barrage is because Blood Barraging Zami God Wars is actually a very popular but effective method that I've seen people using. And I want to try it out for myself. I did try a Mage Pot, and it did work quite well on a trip, so I figured it would be worth it just to go ahead and get the level. That way I don't have to bring a Mage Pot and sacrifice an inventory space for that. But um, that is the plan. So basically what you do is you lure over the melee and be on top of the, well, on top or near the ranger. But because the melee is a greater demon, you attack the melee, and because he's a greater demon, he counts as your task, right? Well, that task mage bonus transfers over to the, transfers the damage over to the ranger as well. So you're healing up quite a bit, and uh, you can take out the minions very quickly and heal up. And the reason I wanted to do this mainly too is because Guthans is very inconsistent. There is trips where I can get five kill trips if Guthans is really nice to me, or I can get a one kill trip because it decides to not heal me at all. And those can seriously, you know, that healing aspect can really make a difference at Zami God Wars. So definitely thought blood barraging would be a great thing to try. So that's what we're going to do. Yo, I just got Zami Spear! Zami Spear off a minion! What the fuck? Let's go! I was just thinking, like, before you said that. Oh my god. That's, that's awesome, dude. <laughs> I was literally just watching, looking at the drop table for him. Yeah? And I was like, dude, you're definitely gonna... I was thinking to myself, you're definitely gonna get the Spear. It's only 1 in 128. Yeah, but that was off a minion. What is it off a... Uh... Oh, off the minion, what min- Oh shit. Yeah, dude, I just got Sammy Spear off a minion! <laughs> That's gotta be like stupid rare! Oh one, my god! One in 5400. <laughs> wow. One in 5400 off the melee minion, oh my god, guys. Oh, the, the melee minion. Yeah, yeah, the melee minion. Holy fuck, I can't believe that just happened. The fact that Ryan just missed that as well. That's amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have a hosta on my account. Oh my god. I can't. I'm so happy right now. Holy shit. I was not expecting that. Off a fucking minion? What? Alright, Otto. You are the king, my friend. You are the king. Do you wish to convert your sphere? Yes, please. Oh my god. Otto sets to work. Boys! Look at that in action. Look at him hammering that spear we just got. Oh my god. There it is. The Zamorakian Hasta is now on our account. You need to know Barbarian Hasta skills to equip this weapon. Well, we're going to do that training right now because I want to equip this thing. Right. Okay, so I just made my own Iron Hasta down here, which I think, once you talk to Otto, gives you the ability to wear it. So uh, let's go to the equipment and just hope for the best. Oh, boys, there it is. There it is. The Zemorakian Hasta is now achieved. We are wielding it. Ah, oh, and I'm not going to lie, that is beautiful. I don't think it's actually sunk in yet in my brain that I actually have it. It's kind of like one of those things that is just... Off a minion, like, what, 15400, and we are holding a Hasta right now. Okay. Um, I know I say this all the time, but, like, with drops like this, like, you know, if you all can kind of just picture my face based on the tone of my voice right now, but I have the biggest smile on my face right now. Very happy. Uh, that is a raids item out of the way. That is a dragon, the, one of the best dragon killer items out of the way. That is, uh, perfect for cow fight queen, um, in coordination with the SGS, which we'll hopefully get soon. Um... And it, that's a raids item, too. I mean, it, there's so many things that is beautiful for. Also, I can use this for uh, Zami God Wars. I can use this as my Zami item, and I can use it to kill the minions. So that should be quite interesting. So I have 28 Greater Demons left on task, which means I can kill 14 more uh, Krill Suturas. And um, we'll see what we can get. Not expecting anything else, but let's go finish the task with this beautiful weapon. 
Hello, beautiful. That is the first full trident of the seas that we have gotten from the Kraken boss. To be honest, I completely forgot that that was even a possible drop. Like, when I come to Kraken, I just think of, like, the base drops and how good they are. So I'm like, all right, let's go kill some Kraken, see if we can get some good loot. Random trident of the seas out of nowhere. Uh, that is basically 25 full casts minus the scales for me right there. So quite a beautiful drop right there. Thank you, Kraken. Very much appreciated. Hello, beautiful. I completely missed that. 95 hit points is coming in, which means, well, four levels off. Um, very nice level. Hey, oh, incoming jar of dirt coming in. I think that honestly might be the second one, so, uh, yeah, that's quite interesting. Oh, hold up, boys. We are not done. Kill count 305. Still on the same task. Yet another jar of dirt. At least we got some sharks with it, though, so we can stay longer on this trip. So, uh, yeah, that's quite an interesting uh, amount of jar of dirt. Uh, we're now up to three now, so, yeah, it's, it's quite interesting. Man, I missed the level. 91 range, though. Coming in. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh... It's honestly amazing how much of the range XP I got from the Sayer Grind. Like, if you factor in everything that you have to do, and considering you're literally ranging everything involved with Sarah, and you're consider you know, you're thinking, I did 456 Zilliana kills, that's 456 times 3 for the minions, plus all the ecumenical keys that I had to get, which adds up. Uh, used to, I didn't just kill imps, I killed everything in here. So, you know, you gotta, you know, factor that in. Like, I was getting quite a bit of range XP, so... Probably 81 to 90 was all Sarah, which is crazy, uh, if you think about it. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to get my second key right now so I can go to Armadil for this beautiful Aviancy task. I actually don't even know if I made a clip on that, so I'm going to go ahead and discuss that. Uh, I did get an Aviancy task. I'm trying to get uh, Shard 3 still. And um, I did a Cave Kraken task because I don't want to skip those. It's too good. So I skipped the Cave Kraken task, and I – er, pff, sorry, did the Cave Kraken task. And then we got the Aviancy task. So I'm going to try and learn the Chen method. I am, uh, I'm pretty familiar on how to do it. I've never actually put it to like, practice, though. So I'm going to see kind of how that goes, see if I can get better at it. Um, I am pretty confident I can prayer flick the minions. Uh, so if I can get the actual method down, I know you have to like lure it to the one corner, kill the melee, and then the major has to be in a certain place, and you have to click on Kree at the right time or whatever. So it's lured into place, but I feel like after a few kills, I will be uh, pretty happy and, you know, confident with my, you know, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to get my second ecumenical key and we can head on over to Arma. Only problem is I don't have, I am going to want to do the black chen method because it is like the most effective method. I don't know how red chens go with it though. I do have like 5k red chens in the bank and I only have like 500 black chens, so... It's quite interesting. I don't know. I might uh, try a black chins and then try a trip of red chins for comparison. But something tells me. I mean, I don't see anyone ever doing red chins, so I'm not sure how it's going to be. But we'll give her a try. Okay, so I'm continuing on my Arma task at the moment. I have two more ecumenical keys that I got actually pretty quickly this time, so that was nice. And I uh, don't know why I haven't tried it yet, but I'm now going to bring Blood Barrage for the minions. Uh, I'd like to try this to see while I blood barrage and prayer flick, you know, if I can get um, to back up to full HP, you know, as most consistently as I possibly can. But one thing I realized is I normally use my room pouch just for the bones to peaches because it would take up the same slot as tabs and I wouldn't have to go make the lectern. But at this point, I would want to use the room pouch for blood barrage and then have the bones to peaches tabs. So I save three slots basically. So now I have to go make the which I think it's the Demon Mahogany Lectern. I think that is the one I need to make to make the Bones to Peaches tabs. So we are going to go do that now, and then we can head back to Arma and try out Blood Barrage. So let's do it. Hey, there we go. There is an Elite Clue Scroll casket completed. I know they actually did an update to where uh, Elite Clues, I'm not sure. I think it's 7 or under now. I think used to the max was like 12. Now the max steps that it can be a 7. So, huge, huge update. It, it, it was much needed because Elite Clue Scrolls are so tedious and the rewards aren't that great. But let's hope we get something good from this one. Hosidious House Scarf and a Katana. Oh my god, boys, we got a Katana. Oh my god, I'm actually, okay. I'm actually happy about that one. Put on that beautiful thing. Dude, okay, that looks sick. You even have a fucking sheath for it on the left side of your body. That is so cool. 
Oh man, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. That is fashion scape at its finest, right there, boys. They just got a katana. Um, yeah, that I, I'm not even gonna lie. Look at that thing. That is badass. Look like we're like a samurai getting ready to go to battle, man. So sick. Okay, this is the first time I've actually properly done this. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Okay, best shortcut in the game confirmed right there. Holy shit, I forget where my clue is. It's somewhere in here, but that is a, that's so much faster, man. Um, I, I don't know if they have had that in there the whole time. I think that might have been an update, actually, but that shortcut, that is amazing. Right, round two. Here goes the hard clue scroll, and, well, I've seen worse. Alright, well there is the armadillo task completed. Unfortunately, we did not get any drops, but it was a good learning experience nonetheless. Uh, I did learn like some techniques and different stuff, and I just got used to Arma in general. Uh, blood barraging was one of them. I didn't even think to do it at the start of the task, and I realized by the end of it, or at least in the middle of it, uh, that it's actually something really good to consider and try. So I have enjoyed trying blood barraging. Uh, and just different things have just like, you know, made the task easier. So next time I do get an armor task, I will be more prepared. Uh, get, I've gotten more trips uh, with my supplies, the same supplies that I used at the beginning. I've gotten more kills with them. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. So with this task done, uh, no drops, unfortunately, but that is okay. Because uh, we're going to go back to Slayer, see if we can get another Aviancy task or another Krill task. And uh, we'll probably do some more God Wars because I still, we still need to get the... Uh, God Sword Shard 3, that is the one, so let's work on it. Alright guys, so I'm about to do something that I've actually never done on this game, and that is Abyssal Sire. Uh, I had an Abyssal Demons task, and I started it, I was maybe like 5 or 6 kills, and I realized, I'm like, I really should do Sire, because getting a Bludgeon is something I really want to get on this account, and just learning Sire in general. I've never done it, like I said, so I just watched a few guides on it, uh, and I'll see how good I can do I feel pretty confident I can do this. Um pretty easily i know it's going to take some practice to like you know master but i feel like i can do it all right so we're going to go do some sire for a bit and uh see what we can get so bring it on sire let's go oh palm tree thank you for not dying on me this time man check health of that beautiful thing hard task done congratulations you've completed all of the hard tasks in the ardon area let's go get our ardon cloak three for a new beautiful cape i've wanted this blue cape for so long and now we can have some extra stab bonus or, um, I think it's good for Sire, actually. But either way, we get an upgraded Artie cape. Let's go snag it. Hello, beautiful. I want a cape like that, man. So give me uh, the 15k XP length and give me that upgraded cape. Oh, Ardo and Clake 3. You know, I never understood why you can't actually teleport to the Artie farm patch like three times a day with this cape. Doesn't make sense. You can teleport once a day with the medium cape, but still once a day with the hard cape with unlimited as the elite. So, I don't know. It's kind of weird, but either way... Hell yeah, we got an upgraded to the Artie Cloak, which also means, another fun fact, we have all of the hard diaries done in each of the achievement diaries. So whenever I feel like getting around to it and getting that beautiful Artie Cape 4, uh, we will do it. And that's going to come soon after some bossing. I feel like I am going to work on some diaries, so look forward to that. We just got an unsired on Abyssal Sire Cloak Count 28. Oh, that is so lucky. I can't believe I actually got one so early. Okay. Um, so I was learning the Abyssal Sire, and I was getting really fucked up at the start. Like, uh, um, like really fucked up. And then I started learning it, and it was getting better and better. But 28, uh, we're learning it well. Blood Barrage, I finally know how to, like, time things, which is really good. And uh, we just got our first unsired, which is crazy. So apparently you have a 48% chance of getting a bludgeon piece. Uh, some of you may already know, I already do actually have a... Uh, this is the wrong area. Here it is. I already do have a, a Abyssal Dagger because I got one off an Abyssal Demon, which is like 1 in 32k or something stupid like that. It's like the same chance as getting a Dragon Full Helm off a Mithril Dragon, but... Uh, I already have that. Uh, a whip would be okay, I, I guess. I can put a, a tentacle with that for use for later but for other bosses. But if I'm honest, I really want a bludgeon piece. That is the main thing that I want. So, bludgeon claw, let's go! One of three, one of three. Bludgeon claw is complete. I'm guessing that's the very top of it. Oh, that is so sick! Ah, oh, one third of the bludgeon is complete, boys. One third is done. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I'm actually so happy we actually already got that. We already got an unsired at 28. We already have a bludgeon piece. That's amazing. 
Okay, I'm gonna heal back up and I'm gonna head back to Sire. That that motivated the hell out of me. Let's go. Hey, there is 83 attack coming in at the Abyssal Sire. Um, oh, and he's fucking me up at the moment. But uh, we are about well, actually, we are exactly 50 kills in at the moment, and uh, no more on Sire yet. But I can't complain because I got really lucky with the first drop. So continue to do Sire. Got about 130 left, and I do plan to do the whole task here just because I am enjoying it at the moment. Hopefully, it stays that way. Uh, so. Yeah, 83 attack. Uh, let's keep going. Well, guys, there we go. There is 100 Abyssal Sire KC, and I still have not got another Insider. I think it was 28 kill count. I got my first one, but I've decided that I'm going to kill 100 Sires a task and the rest of the Abyssal Demons simply because it takes so long to get through the entire task. And I have other goals. Something I want to do is get a Bludgeon, but I also want to get a SGS, and I need to have other tasks for that. So I'm going to finish the rest of these kills off at Abyssal Demons, the regular ones. And if I get another Abyssal Demon task later on, I will do 100 kills here and the rest at the actual Abyssal Demons. That way I still get, 100 kills is still a lot of kills. I still have a good chance of getting an Unsired, furthering the progress on the Bludgeon, but I also get to keep that progress on working on the SGS and other things rather than just staying here. And this, guys, is why you get the herb sack as quickly as you possibly can. This is from a single Spectre's task. How beautiful is that? So I got assigned Cave Krakens, and I realized I only had like 700 charges in my Trident. And I'm like, going to do Zora, right? You know, I was gearing up for it, and I'm like, I don't want to do Zora anymore without a Ring of Suffering. So I went, and I didn't think I'd ever do this, but I just went ahead and canceled my Cave Kraken task, because I'm honestly like tired of doing Zora without a Ring of Suffering, and I really want to get that. So... Uh, luckily, after a few skips, I got a Black Demon task. So, at this point, I'm going to go kill some Demonic Gorillas, and um, uh, to be honest, I haven't fully learned them yet. So, I'm going to try my best, and hopefully learn them decently quickly, and um, I'm going to try and get a Zenite Shard, because as soon as that happens, I already do have an Onyx in my bank that I do have left over that I got from Zora a long time ago. Uh, so, if I were to get a Zenite, I could go ahead and make the cut Zenite, and actually boost to make the Ring of Suffering, which I would do right away. So... Wish me luck. Let's go uh, Let's go kill some gorillas. So I didn't have my Camtasia recorder up, and I was extremely pissed because I got online, and I hadn't opened up the program yet to record. I went to do a trip with demonic gorillas, and I was just like, you know, just casually doing it. And uh, all of a sudden, I got – you all are not going to believe what I got. I got a light frame. I'm only joking. I got a Zenite Shard. Okay, so I had to throw it in the bank because I didn't get it recorded, okay? I needed to keep it a surprise, okay? But, boys, we got a Zenite Shard, and look how beautiful that thing is. Uh, the first task it was, it was about, I'd say, you don't get KC while you're there. I'd probably say it was around, like, the 90 KC mark, though. Uh, the Light Frame was a few kills before it, and the 67 Nature Rune Drops was also a few, like, kills before it, which was kind of a troll, so getting that Zenite Shard... Oh, man, it put me in the happiest of moods. But at this point in time... I can actually now go boost to make this a Zenite, a cut Zenite, sorry, now that we have, well, if we pull up the Onyx in the bank as well, I need to cut that first, but uh, we can make the cut Zenite, and then we can make our Ring of Suffering. I cannot believe I'm saying that. That is absolutely insane, and uh, that is so huge for so many things, mainly Zora. That is the main thing that I'm going to be using it for, at least in the near future. I don't have to worry, like worry about putting rings of recoils on anymore man it's just so annoying to do that it's so i mean that's the goal that was the goal we got our zenite shard on the first task insane luck out of that so let's go make this zenite and our ring of suffering guys all right i hope i did this right i'm pretty sure this is the place where i'm supposed to bring it fuse your onyx and zenite shard yes please and uncut zenite oh my god okay Beautiful. So now I need to get a, I think it's at 87 you can cut these tonight, and at 89 I can actually make the Ring of Suffering. So I need to get plus 4 boost from 85, and we can make this thing. Holy shit. I cannot believe this, guys. Ring of Suffering, coming up. Let's do it. Alright, we got two runs of solid Nightmare Zone runs in here, and now let's go to upgrades and imbue this beautiful thing here. Not much of a visual difference, if I'm honest. I think the gem just got a bit brighter and lighter, but uh... There it is. The stats have now been doubled on this ring, which means the prayer bonus has been doubled. All the uh, defense. I don't even know what the exact stats are on it, but everything has been doubled. 
Uh, so at this point, I'm probably going to make a lot of rings of recoil and throw them on there for when I do Zora later. And return to my demonic gorillas, because I still have about 30, I want to say, left on task. And then we can try and get some more Godward Ascension tasks, because I still want to get, you all already know, the third shard. All right, everyone, that is going to conclude today's progress video. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if I'm honest, it was honestly a really, really good episode, in my opinion. We got some insane goals out of the way. Some of them not as insane, but some of them were just extremely good. We got the Zamoraki and Hasta. That was a huge one. Uh, off a of minion as well. Like I, That still blows my mind. This was days ago that I've actually gotten that, but... It just, it, it blows my mind. 1 in 5,400 off the minion. I'm assuming it's 1 in 5,400 for all the minions, not just the melee minion. That's just the one I got it off of. In addition to the Hasta, we got a Zenite shard from the Gorillas, which, I, I'll be honest, I was about to go to work when that happened. So, getting that Zenite, I, I just woke up and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do a couple kills before I go in. I probably did, like, one trip. I think it was seriously one trip. And I saw the Zenite on the ground. And that was after getting trolled by, like, that light frame and, like, 67 nature and drops. I mean, I was just like, oh, come on, man. Like, this is how I'm going to start my day. And then next thing you know, I just see this orange thing on the ground. Sure enough, it's a Zenite. And I just, I was ecstatic. I just started the day off so happy on that one. So pretty much on that note, I mean, that was some insane stuff out of the way. So what do we have in store for next video? I'm definitely going to bring the Ring of Suffering to Zora. I cannot wait to put some recoils on that and try it out there. I already got it cocked and loaded with about like, I don't know, about like 3,000 recoil charges or so. So can't wait to bring that there. Also to that, I mean, you already know I talk about it like all the time, but uh, I'm going to continue to do Slayer. The only reason I actually wanted to do Zora right away is for this Cave Kraken task, and that is so I can recharge my Trident, because I'm so low on scales. So that Ring of Suffering is going to help with that. But I'm going to obviously keep on doing uh, Slayer continuously for a bit, uh, because the more God Wars dungeon tasks I get, the more likely chance I have of getting the uh, Shard 3. That's the only problem. And it's such a tease, because I log in every day, and I'll see... I'll see the hilt in those two shards, and I'm like, oh, man, it's like it's like an SGS is sitting in my bank, but it's not. Like, I don't know. It's it's so close yet so far kind of thing. But anyways, guys, like I said, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. It was an absolute pleasure to make for you all, and we did get some very nice goals out of the way. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you all for your continued support, and I will see you all soon. Have a good one, guys.